Yo yo people, Garrett Jun here for another video. So guys, this video is going to be showing you in depth how to install vehicle skins for flash and lights. I will not be going over how to replace any sounds or map mods, so for that you will have to use a different tutorial. However, what I will say is there is a few things I'll be going over in this video that will be very useful when doing those. So I will recommend you watch this either way, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is double check that we are currently using a 64-bit operating system. To do that on Windows 10, go navigate to the bottom left-hand corner, right-click on the Start or Windows button, and then go up to System, it is fourth on the list, and left-click that. Once this is opened up, you will see System Type. If yours says 64-bit operating system, then you are good to go. The next thing we need to do is download a program that can unzip files. I'm going to be using WinRAR. You can use 7-Zip if you want, but I will link WinRAR down below. From this page, you will want to scroll down until you see English. It will be on the bottom section, and make sure to click English 64-bit if that is what your system is using. Once you click on it, there will be a file that downloads. It's an .exe file. Make sure to open that up and go through the installation process. You pretty much just click next, 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 confirm, and done. The final thing we have to download, besides for the mods of course, is the Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. Now, this game does not have full mod support, so it currently uses the 7 Days to Die Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. It works perfectly fine. Make sure to click the link that's in the description below to get to this page. You'll want to scroll down right to the bottom of this post, and you will see it shows the old releases and releases. Make sure you're in the releases section. You will then see 32-bit and 64-bit. Like always, we're downloading 64-bit. Go to the most recent stable one, doesn't matter which one you click, click here or here to install it. Depending on which one you click, it's either gonna directly download right away or it's gonna open a mega file downloader. If this opens, just click download. It will take a few seconds to download. It depends on your internet speed, but that's completely okay. As long as you have this asset bundle extractor zip, you're good to go. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is move this zip file somewhere on your computer. From this example, I'll put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want though. I'm gonna go ahead, right click to create a brand new folder. Go to new, folder, Name it whatever you want. I'll name it ABE for Asset Bundle Extractor. You're then going to want to open the file, drag your zip download into here. Now, if you cannot find this zip download, if it's not showing up in your browser, then go to your File Explorer Downloads button and you should see it there. Now that we got this in the folder, you're going to want to right click and navigate down to Extract to Assets Bundle Extractor. Once you've clicked on that, you will then see a folder get created. This folder will contain a file called 64-bit. You now can delete this zip file if you want to or keep it, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, open this up, 64-bit, open that up, and this is what you are gonna to wanna to get used to. You see it says Assets Bundle Extractor. This is the application you will need in order to install mods. You can pin this somewhere on your desktop, you can Add it wherever you want, but this is the exact thing you will need when downloading mods. Now it is time to actually download the mods you want to install. You might have already done this, but if not, this is how you do it. You're going to want to go to the flmods.com website. It will be linked down below. Make sure you create an account. If you do not create an account, you will not be able to download anything from the site. Now what you're going to want to do is click Downloads on the top. It's right now second from the right hand side, and then you'll be brought to this page. On this page, you will see all the mods that are currently public. You will see it in categories at first. You'll see obviously featured downloads, what's new, highest rated, most downloaded. But let's say you want to see a bit more in depth for each department. In order to do that, you're going to want to click browse categories in this top box listed under announcements. Once you've clicked this, you will click Vehicle Textures. It will be brought to this page. Now, it says no files in this category yet. That is 
correct, I guess, but it's also incorrect. You're going to want to see the subcategories. It replaces that previous box that we clicked, and you'll see police, EMS, fire department, civilian, PACs, other, the list goes on. What you'll want to click is whatever you're looking for. For this tutorial, we'll download a police skin, so I'm going to click on police. Now it's your turn to download whatever mod you want. I'm going to go ahead, scroll through this page, and find whatever interests me the most. Alright, so once you've found one you'd like, I'm going to download this sheriff pack, click on it, and you'll be brought to a page that looks similar to this. It will be slightly different depending on what you're downloading, uh, but yeah, the layout is the same. You're going to want to click download this file. Again, if you do not see this button, that means you do not have an account created on the site or you are not currently logged in. Once you've logged in, refresh the page and you should see this option available. You're going to want to click on it. You'll then see the download terms. You can read through all this if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and click agree and download. Now, there are two different things you might see here. You might see some PNG files. The other option is you'll see a zip download. It doesn't matter which it is, if it's a zip download, you're just going to want to unzip it. If it's a PNG files, then that's perfect. Just click on them individually. So we'll go download, it says it download begins in one second, it will close, and your download will obviously begin. If it doesn't begin right away, give it a few seconds, it should start pretty quick. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for all the other ones as well. Once the files are done downloading, you're going to want to create a new file on your desktop. Or again, wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. We're going to run a right click, go to new folder, and we'll just call this one skins. Open up that file you created and drag in everything you downloaded. Again, you might have just gotten one file. You might have gotten multiple. If you got a zip file, you're going to want to do the same process where you right click and go to the extract to folder. But anyways, let's drag these all in. Now that they're in this folder, you can close it or just minimize it. It's up to you. And it's time to navigate to our game directory. You want to make sure to back up any files before you edit them. If you mess up and do not have a backup, what you'll have to do is uninstall the game and reinstall it from scratch. Or if you are lucky, you can find someone who uploaded the default files onto the FL Mods website. That's not ideal, it's best just create a folder, name the folder backup, and there you go. It is now time to go to your game directory. Now, if you do not know how to get here, it's very, very simple. The easiest way I found to get to this location is by opening up Steam, you're going to want to go to your library, right click on the game, go to manage, and browse local files. This will then open up where your game files are located. From here, you're going to want to click flash and lights underscore data. The main file we're going to be editing is the resources dot assets. Make sure to back this file up. I'm going to click it and do control C. If you want to do it the long way, you're going to want to right click on it and then go down to copy, left click that, and now it's copied. So now that I've copied it, we'll go to our backup folder. We'll paste it in. I'm going to use control V. If you want to do it the long way though, again, it's up to you, but it's very simple. You will right click, go down to paste, and obviously left click on paste. The file will take a few seconds to load on in. All right, now the files you want to have open is your ABE file or whatever you call it, your assets bundle extractor. So open up the file, click 64 bit, and then your asset bundle extractor. You're going to want to launch this application. Once this is launched, you will see this window pop up. This is the Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. If it does not say that, you clicked on the wrong thing. I also recommend at this time, you open up where your skin's location is so you can see exactly what you're trying to install. Now, here is my number one tip. Make sure to check out this page I'm linking below. This is a post. It is currently made by HeroGus3XD, which is the head modder for this game and on this page you will find a bunch of information it is categorized you see police vehicles class names you will see ems vehicles class names you will also see fire vehicles class names 
These are the files you're going to want to edit and it will tell you exactly where it is. So as I mentioned, we are going to be editing the police vehicles. So we're going to want to look under the police vehicles class names. All right, so let's install the charger. You are going to see it says location resource.assets. This is that file we backed up. We backed it up because that is a file we are going to be editing. You do not want to edit your backed up version. You're going to want to edit the one that is currently in the game. You will see it says marked and unmarked. Now, everything is a little bit different depending on what you're installing, but the steps are still the same. Just make sure to reference this page because the IDs might actually change over time. I'm going to install the marked version. So police underscore two underscore body underscore D. Do not try typing this out. Select it and then do control C or you can right click and go copy. Now, remember that Unity Assets Bundle Extractor? This is when we finally get to use it. We'll go File, Open, and it's going to bring you to some page. It might be this exact one. It might be different. It really depends on what you last were viewing. But you're going to want to find your Flash and Lights folder. I have pinned mine, right? The Flash and Lights underscore data. I've pinned mine, so it's very easy to get to. If you do not have it pinned, it's the same steps to find it. Just make sure it is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Flash and Lights, and Flash and Lights underscore data. From here, you're going to want to scroll down. Once you see resources.assets, you're going to want to double click on it or click once and go down to open. This is now going to prepare asset list and this file will open up. Now, I'm going to show you guys a tip and trick. Go ahead and click on where it says name and then click on type. The only types of file we will be editing is texture 2D files. We're not editing any of the other ones. You see some of these have this wheel thing. Uh, there's lots of mesh files, whatever. It, we're not looking for that. Now that you've though clicked those two buttons, it's going to make this a lot easier. Go ahead and go to view, search by name, in this box, you're going to want to click it and do control V to paste in what we previously copied. So again, this is for the charger. Make sure you know what you're installing. If you mess this up, you're going to run into issues. Click OK. And it is now selected. You see police underscore two underscore body underscore D. It's a texture file. You can also see under the type, it says texture 2D. If this ever doesn't say texture 2D, you need to keep going. Now, if you didn't use those top navigations, you might need to go ahead and do view and continue search. That will show you whatever the next one is. Just make sure the one you're editing is a texture 2D file. I can't express that enough. It's very simple from here. You're gonna wanna click plugins, go click edit, and then click okay. You're gonna wanna click load where it says texture, and this will open up whatever your last viewed page was. We put our files on our desktop. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop. Now I have a pretty clean desktop, but there's lots of games. So that's why I label it nice and simple. I just did skins in all caps. Open this up. And as I said, we are currently editing the charger. So make sure to click on the charger. You can either double click it or click it once and go down to open. Once that is done, you're going to want to click OK. And it shows select quality settings. I'm honestly not sure if you're supposed to change anything here. I've never changed it and everything works fine. So I just click OK. And those menus will close. Now, occasionally you will run into a bit of lag or it might say not responding. If the program crashes, you'll just open it up again. You will rarely run into that issue though. So yeah, don't worry about it. Once that's done though, you have successfully installed your charger into the system, but we're not done yet. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Do not exit out of this. Make sure you click OK right at the bottom. Would you like to save changes? This is very important. Click yes. Now you're going to be saving the file you've edited. So I like saving it into the skins folder just because I know where it is. 
make sure this says resources and at the bottom it says unity assets file if it doesn't say this that means you did something wrong and you're going to need to go back to the first step but now click save and the program should close itself there we go you'll be just left with this click exit and now it's time for the final step we have our edited file and we have currently the old file in the game you're going to want to drag this over or do control c go to your game directory again that is steam steam apps common flash and lights flash and lights underscore data and you control v paste it in now if you did everything correctly it will say replace the file in the destination click on that and now you will see we have the edited file in here it's finally time to open up the game okay now that we're in the game go to your vehicle selector obviously select the vehicle you guys know how to do that and we can run on over and see if it worked which it did so now we have this unnamed island sheriff vehicle in the game we can enter it the lights work we can go first person you see everything there looks the same we did not edit anything in the interior we just did a vehicle skin for the outside looks very cool you can drive around and go on your patrol so there we go guys that is it for this tutorial thank you for watching if you did enjoy please drop a like and consider subscribing i would also greatly appreciate it if you check out the description along with all the useful links you clicked this video there is a bunch of other stuff there too you guys can find our twitter instagram discord merchandise patreon page channel membership a lot of different things i am gonna recommend you really check out two links specifically though especially check out our website and our discord server so anyways you guys are awesome bye bye